Also, this. By the way, welcome to the stream. Appreciate you guys being here. Um, Meg the Stallion, who was in the UK, was walking by a ton of fans while the mandem decided to let her know how much of a fan they were of her. This was the the um, conversation, or dare I say, heckling that went on. I free Tory, man. Free Tory lanes, man. <laughs> Her body language is like, oh, ew. Disgusting. I free Tory, man. And then she, like, she does the little ratchet stink girl face. Free Tory lanes, man. Uh, all in all, to be honest, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give Meg an A for handling this. I think she handled this with class. I think she handled this as best as she could. And from a media perspective, the best thing that could number one embarrass her or number two drag this this moment along more is her responding or maybe saying something spicy back. Imagine if, if they were like, "Yo, free Tory," and she was like, "Yo, well, how about you write that nigga a letter? He in prison." Like, yo, that would be ether, but it would probably get her dragged for for for, for way longer to send her. It's kind of like when Gunna, the dude ran up on Gunna and said, yo, Gunna, you a rat. And, you know, Gunna acknowledged it, but he didn't feed into it. So you can't get mad um, about her reaction in this moment. I thought it was actually um, um, right. And by the way, if she was intoxicated or whatever the case, I don't know if she's intoxicated. Everybody knows she's a chronic alcoholic. Uh... If she was intoxicated, you gotta give her you gotta give her credit for holding her composure. Now, as far as the free Tory chance, Meg gotta realize that's gonna come that, that's par for the course at this point. There's a group of people who feel you untrustworthy, who feel you put a black man in jail, who feel that you try to catapult your career by down in his, who still feel that despite there was a whole trial with an abundance of, you know, uh, let's say evidence, but evidence that something happened, they're still not convinced that you got shot or they're not convinced that Tory shot you or they felt like because you lied in the media when you first went on Gail King saying that you did not have a sexual relationship with Tory and then you went to the stand and you did. Now, some of these things should be neither here nor there, but again, and for anybody who's going to say, yeah, but so what? The so what is going to be a public figure lives in the court of public opinion, even beyond the court of justice. So if everybody thinks you're a piece of shit and you walk out somewhere and they boo you, you can't be like, well, this is not fair. you all booing me. No, 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 no. That's how you make your, your pennies or your coins or whatever. You're going to have to live with people's perception of you. I don't think Meg is that likable of a person. Also, I don't think she either cares or is at the moment at the place where the people, especially a lot of men, really feel like they they feel they feel they feel the incarceration of Tory was similar to many times of how they've seen other men been persecuted in issues that have to do with women, where basically there's holes in a story, but as long as a woman said it, you're going to jail or you're going down. So I think that's a big part of why people don't like. Like Meg, again, there's going to be some women in here or hear this after be like, but, but, no, no, no. Again, this is a court of public opinion. I think I'm a really nice person. I think that I, you know what I mean? Any any opinion about a, a woman I've ever espoused, I've espoused it 10 times worth, 10 times worse, or said 10 times more things about a man, yet they're going to say I don't like women. You know what I mean? What could I do? I could be like, oh, it's not fair. Right, there is a public narrative, right? Now, granted, and, and this gets to my next point with, with Meg, I think she could do some shit to, to try to change it. Might not be easy. Same with me, right? Like, you know, I could start being like a, a pandering pussy and, and just be like, oh my God, just to try to get women to like me. Um, but for me, I'm comfortable with the fact that as long as I'm speaking truth to power and I I'm, I'm feel like I'm speaking on both genders equally, I don't need to be doing what these bitch ass niggas is doing and just pander to one, one um, gender just to have more favor in whatever you want to say. Like again, I'm, I'm gonna treat niggas and women the same, especially when I'm dealing with words. We're not dealing with physicality here. It's not like I'm putting hands on rappers. Uh, I'm alike. You know what I mean? No, I'm just I'm saying I'm critiquing music primarily and their actions around their music or the portrayal of the music. So 
it is what it is. Now, again, I think with Meg, um, the mere fact she comes, her music already comes off as music that's meant to be uh, um, for people who subscribe to misandry, and, and that's the opposite of misogyny, right? So misandry is the contempt of niggas. So basically, you know, mis misogyny is when you supposedly hate women. Misandry is when women supposedly hate men. We never hear that term because it's kind of one of those things where like, it's like black and white. White people, if, if like for example, Joe Biden just said, he said uh, something about his secretary of defense and he said, yo, I hired black men. Some people felt like he forgot the guy's name so he just called him a black man. But anyway, we're quick to say if a white person even mentions race, that they're racist, but a black dude could be like, you cracker ass cracker all damn day. And it'd be like, oh, well, it's kind of it's kind of funny. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the, the, the racist term don't really go both ways. And obviously people could bring into other uh, other shit into the mix, but, but you get what I'm saying. It's the same thing with misogyny and misandry, right? Like nobody cares if a woman is shitting on men all day. They're a bitch, take his money, fuck him, cut his balls off. It's like, all right, well, that's kind of sound like, Go, girl, you doing your thing. You know what I mean? Fuck these niggas. A, a man says, you know what I mean, take advantage of a woman. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know what I mean? And obviously, nobody's saying that. I'm just making an analogy here. But still, yeah. So I think I think Meg could kind of like try to correct that or, or if she wanted to pander a little bit. But I don't think she needs to pander either, right? And I think she looks at it from it from the aspect of, and one of the reasons you usually see men pandering to women rather than women, and I'm talking about celebrities pandering to men, is that niggas don't buy nothing. Niggas give you attention. I guarantee half of these niggas saying, yo, free Tory. They don't, they didn't pay to go on a concert. They didn't pay for a, a, a meet and greet. They never bought a merch. They don't even buy Tory shit. That's the funny part about it. So, like, m m us men, we're usually on the lower end of the totem pole when it comes to celebrities caring about what we want. Because we don't spend the fucking money. Like, the women are going to spend money. So, like, for her, she's probably saying, yo, they're saying that, let's make up a percentage. They're saying that 60% of men don't fuck with, fuck with Meg after that. I'm making that up. I don't know if it's true. But, but let's just use that. They're saying 60% of men ain't fucking with Meg after Tori went to jail. Yet, she still went on a goddamn arena tour. Do you get what I'm saying? So, like... There's not, a, there's no incentive for her to really get those niggas on her side because it's like, yo, you niggas, it's not like y'all niggas is going to buy tickets anyway, right? Is any straight man buying a ticket to a, a Megan Stallion concert? Fuck no. Is any straight man even really listening fully to Megan Stallion? Fuck no. You know what I mean? So it's like one of those things. And by the way, I kind of, I understand that because shit. You know what I mean? Even though I would like my audience to be a little bit more, I think over the time we've went, we, we went from, we used to be just 90% men. We've gained a, 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 a quite a few females who now listen to us. Shit, sometimes the reason why I don't even try to pander, because I could try to pander to those spaces. Like, all right, let me go try to do an interview with, uh, you know, the Shade Room podcast and show them a little bit more on my side. And oh, them hoes ain't going to want to fuck with me anyway. You know what I mean? They're not going to want to, like, go into the rhetoric that we got going on. They're not going to come over here and come support the stream and all that. No, them just hating ass single baby mamas that, you know, just gruntle. I'm sorry, like. Fuck them. You know what I mean? Like, they're not going to be a part of that, what you got going on anyway. So why the fuck you even care about what they what they think? Yeah, they're going to have noise online, but fuck it. So maybe that's why, uh, because uh, I, I think Meg hasn't really even given a fuck about trying to make, you know, uh, and, and I guess it's a weird thing to kind of say with her because you're going to have, I keep hearing a woke person in my mind when I'm doing the, uh, I'm playing the devil's advocate a little bit. Like, some woke person's gonna, like, why would she have to apologize to the men when she's the victim? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, okay, get it. But I'm just talking about her public outlook. There's a lot of niggas that don't like her. They look at her as the prototypical woman who will lie, cheat, and steal and set up a nigga and send him to jail and then dance over his fucking grave. You get what I'm saying? That's how people see her, and um, I don't think she's in a rush to change it, nor do I think she gives a fuck. I guess that's what I was trying to say, right? All right. Damn, somebody named Ace in the chat said, I'd catch herpes from Meg. I don't care. Don't, don't wish no disease on Meg, man. Stop playing. All right.
Okay. Let me see what else is cracking up in here, man.